Total War is a game created by Creative Assembly and currently there's almost 2.5 million copies of it that has been sold through one of their, own, their online distributors, Steam. Within the past two weeks there have been over 1 million players playing, the to playing a game within the Total War series. So far they have brought out 11 games, many more expansion packs for these games, and downloadable content, along with four different game en engines to power the system. These games are purely available on PC, Apple and Linux con um, machines and unfortunately at this stage there is no console abilities, although 2004's Rome Total War has been re-released and is now able to be uh, played on Apple iPad Air or later versions of the iPad. Creative Assembly is a video game developing company created by Tim Ansell in 1987. Since then the game has gone on to produce some notable games most importantly the Total War series, but also they're famous for the very first FIFA game on PC which was released in 1984 with EA. They've also released recently Alien Isolation, Halo Wars 2, and for the Australian audiences they were, they were the ones who released AFL 98-99. For the Total War series, this was originally set to be knock a knockoff of the very popular real-time strategy games of the time, such as Command and Conquer, or the original Warcraft. However, with the advent of the 3D processors, Creative Assembly decided to have a look at the possibility of seeing what a battle would look like across the 3D map, and they were very surprised at how it looked. Because of the limited view the 3D maps provided, they decided to create a turn-based campaign map as well, in order for the players to be able to administer the territory, build armies, and therefore care about the battles that would ensue. This mix of real-time strategy and turn-based strategy was the birth of the Total War franchise. Online and offline, and there are a couple of different modes. Campaign mode, which is the offline until very recently, is the main feature of Total War. It consists of a campaign map where a player can establish their fact, build their army, conduct a diplomacy with other factions, and immerse themselves within the game's history or lore. Units of the campaign will only be able to move a certain distance until the player ends their turn. Therefore, this mode of play is turn-based. Should you be attacked or you attack an enemy army or enemy stronghold, the game will then go into battle mode into two different modes. One of these will just be a field, field battle, and the other one will be a siege where you try and take over the stronghold. The armies will face off also in real-time strategy mode and therefore the game will be very, very fluid. And this is, tends to be the more popular of the online versions. Total War can be played in a couple of ways, which makes it very hard to define exactly what genre in the series games belong to. Some genres that come to mind are real-time strategy, turn-based strategy, and even role-playing game as you can upgrade your army, yeah, and your generals, and your buildings. There's also subcategories of empire building, trading, historical fantasy, because of this, there have been calls for a number of loyal, by a number of loyal gamers for Total War to have its own specific genre. A very important aspect of Total War has been the ability to draw the player into the historical or fantasy setting, and it has been able to achieve this with a number of ways. The first way is the initial cutscene that takes the player to the time when the player loads the game. When a player then decides to play the campaign mode, they will have to decide what faction they would like to be. And each faction has many pros and cons depending on the historical conditions at the time. Whenever the game is loading, quotes from that era appear on the screen, further drawing the player into the game before it has even started. Once the campaign map loads, the player will see a highly accurate map and will also experience hostile neighbours, training conditions and accurate events such as diseases or mass migrations that will affect gameplay. During battles, the tactics and army navy units are heavily influential for submersing the player into the world. It is this accuracy that has caused the game to be such a success and it is important and popular with the players. However, there have been some critique about the actual way the game is um, evolving over time. Recent games have been more like an arcade, as in the battles are over too quickly and therefore the connection that a player would normally feel for their troops is lost. This is because units are wiped out too quickly for a player to effectively care about them. 
The mats have also progressively shrunk so that now opportunities for tactics such as outflanking a, an opponent have become dramatically reduced. This has become even more of an issue with 4 times 4 multiplayer, multiplayer games and also just speeds up the game as well. Multiplayer battles options have also been stripped back so that players cannot even change the time or day of weather conditions.